In just the last few days, U.S. officials have seen increased activity of North Korean submarines. They've also seen a test of a part of the system that's critical to launch missiles from submarines. All of this in the immediate aftermath of an ICBM launch from North Korea that has rattled the world. U.S. President Donald Trump responded by saying that the U.S. will handle it, but he hasn't elaborated as to how the U.S. will handle the mounting North Korean crisis. Looking to China has been the cornerstone of President Trump's policy in terms of dealing with North Korea, but it now seems that China and the U.S. are farther apart than ever when it comes to working together to put an end to this growing crisis. U.S. officials, including the president himself, have said that China has failed to use its leverage, its economic leverage in the region, to rein in North Korea to try and put an end to its nuclear program. At the same time, Beijing is now pushing back against Washington, D.C., the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, saying that China didn't create this problem with regard to North Korea. And now China's ambassador to the U.N. calling on both Pyongyang and D.C. to work to lower the tension on the region. Yes, they have condemned Pyongyang for the launch of another ICBM, but they say that rhetoric from D.C isn't helping the matter either, specifically pointing to this often repeated phrase that all options are on the table. That's something that President Donald Trump has said, that the vice president has said, that the U.S.'s ambassador to the U.N. has said, and that the secretary of state has also said. In South Korea, Alexander Field, CNN.